We want closure. And if you can say something, please, just say something. You know, we deserve justice for Brittany. This is the story of Brittany Matthews, a 31-year-old hairstylist. She was known to her loved ones as B. Brittany was a joyful and outgoing woman, and she was also a mother of a beautiful son. However, in August 2020, a devastating event happened that changed her life forever. While at a gas station on Edgewood Avenue, the worst imaginable happened. Brittany was shot and killed. Her sudden and unjustified death leaves her family and friends in a deep state of grief and sorrow. But what remains unknown is the mystery surrounding her death, the unanswered questions that disturb her family. As the investigation progressed, puzzling details began to emerge that made Brittany's family believe she was targeted. But her mother can't understand why someone would harm her daughter. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Jacksonville, Florida, a city known for its warm climate and beautiful coastal location. In the heart of this lively city, a heartbreaking event occurred that left an everlasting impact on the entire community. A 31-year-old young and ambitious woman Brittany Matthews resided in Jacksonville, Florida. Brittany, lovingly referred to as B, was a bright and vibrant person. Her presence was a source of warmth and happiness in the lives of those who knew her. She worked as a hairstylist. Her profession allowed her to share her creativity and passion for making people feel good about themselves. Along with being a talented hairstylist, Brittany was also a devoted mother. She shared a special bond with her son, and the love she had for him was evident in every aspect of her life. She had an infectious smile and a positive energy. Her life was filled with a tireless commitment to spreading happiness wherever she went. Brittany was known by her friends and family as a joyful and outgoing person, someone who could bring happiness to any gathering and light up a room with her presence. Her wonderful qualities made her not just a hairstylist, but also a cherished friend for her clients. Those close to her remember her as a loving friend, a dedicated mother, and someone who could bring a smile to anyone's face. But soon her life took an unexpected turn. On one fateful day, Brittany finds herself in the most tragic condition that eventually darkens her bright and cherished life. On an ordinary Monday morning, a time when most people begin their week with hope and optimism. At around 9 a.m., a sinister event took place in the parking lot of the gas station on Edgewood Avenue West, and Avenue B security cameras recorded the unsettling moment when a slender man, dressed in a hoodie and wearing a face mask, rushed toward Brittany's car and began firing shots. The sudden and senseless act of violence destroyed the peace of the morning. The gas station, where people usually stop for gas, turned into a place of great sadness. The footage showed a thin black male who was wearing a hoodie, running towards Brittany's car and opening fire. She was shot multiple times and sadly, Brittany lost her life at the scene. The investigation soon started and the police started looking into this terrible incident, hoping to find the truth and bring justice for Brittany Matthews and her family. The police suspect that Brittany was intentionally chosen as the victim because the attacker parked his silver Nissan Rogue right next to her car and then shot at her. To help solve this tragic crime, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office found the Nissan car used by the attacker. They also shared pictures of a man and a woman who might know important things about what happened. This memorial is marks the spot where the victim lost her life, which would have been this parking spot right here. Now, we knew that police were looking for a shooter and are still looking for this suspect. But what we just found out today is that they're also looking for two more people who may have information about what happened. Take a very good look at these photos because Jacksonville police needs your help in identifying these two people. Investigators want to speak with them in reference to the Monday morning shooting at this gas station that claimed the life of 31 year old Brittany Matthews. Although it's unclear if the two know the shooter, spoke with him or heard something the shooter may have said prior to him pulling the trigger, police believe the two may have information that is vital to the case. In the meantime, police are still trying to identify the killer. In this surveillance pic, he's covered from head to toe. His face is concealed by a mask and a hoodie. The murder weapon in his hand is a semi-automatic handgun. For several days, police were searching for this Nissan SUV believed to be used by the shooter. Thursday morning, police announced they located the vehicle but did not disclose where it was found. Less than a mile from where Matthews lost her life, a small memorial remains outside her home, a home she shared with her young child. A neighbor who knew Matthews but asked not to be identified says hearing about her death was too much to take. Oh man, that's a, uh, that was devastating because 
once you see somebody every, about every day, and you kind of look forward to seeing them, and then all of a sudden, you bam, they're gone. The community is asked to share any information that can help catch the person responsible and bring them to justice. Brittany's family is going through a lot of pain, and they want justice. One family member even shared a video of Brittany, reminding her to make lots of memories and take many photos, highlighting the love they have for her. They're urging anyone who knows something about the case to speak up, as they strongly believe that someone out there has vital information that can help solve this tragic situation. Time passed and it's been almost three years since hairstylist Brittany Matthews was tragically shot multiple times, yet Brittany Matthews' tragic murder remains a painful mystery for her family. The mother of 31-year-old Brittany Matthews told News 4 Jax her daughter was shot and killed at a gas station off Edgewood Avenue in August of 2020. We're here off Myrtle Avenue where you can see a mural of Brittany Matthews is now painted on this wall. Her mother tells me it's been hard the past several months not knowing who killed her daughter, but she believes she was targeted. A large picture in the living room and a bumblebee necklace around Frida Matthews' neck is all she has left of her daughter, 31-year-old Brittany Matthews. We called her B. I called her Lady B, but B is the name that she grew up with. The beloved hairstylist and mother of one was murdered in August 2020. All these 21 months, it's, it's not the same. It's, it's terrible. You know, nothing is the same anymore. Her mother says Matthews was on her way to her sister's house when she stopped the Shell gas station off Edgewood Avenue around 9 a.m. According to JSO, the gunman seen in this photo pulled up in a silver Nissan Rogue, gone out and fired several shots into the car Matthews was sitting in, then drove off. The car was eventually found. The lead of the vehicle, um, that was... Um, they found it, but it wasn't related to the person who owned it because the killer actually stole the vehicle. JSO released these photos of a man and a woman who were considered persons of interest. Matthews told her sister she was being harassed a few months leading up to her death. Her mother, not sure of the circumstances, but believes her daughter was targeted. Do you have any idea who would do this to your daughter? No, because Brittany didn't live that life. Like Brittany was like the life of the party. Everywhere she went, like, she was jolly, you know. She loved going out and having fun, you know, with her sister. Matthew says her daughter had a smile she could never forget. Although memorabilia are all she has left, she's not giving up on justice. Brittany's mom, Alfreda Matthews, is still looking for justice, but there haven't been any new clues in the case. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office found the car of the person who shot Brittany and shared pictures of two people they're interested in, but they haven't caught anyone yet. Alfreda Matthews is holding on to hope that someone will share information about her daughter's case. She also mentioned that Brittany had dreams of becoming a famous hairstylist, and her family is committed to keeping her memory alive. They want to find answers and justice for Brittany. They're asking anyone who knows anything to call the police. The family also put up a $9,000 reward to encourage someone to come forward with info about what happened to Brittany. She was a lively, young hairstylist and mother, she had a promising future waiting for her. But now her friends and family have to go through the pain of her absence, which has created an emptiness in their lives that cannot be filled. This sad event reminds us that we should work together to make our communities safer. We can do this by starting programs, making places more secure, and stopping harassment and threats. Brittany's family continues to suffer from her loss, and her young son will have to grow up without his mother. This highlights the importance of safer communities and strong support systems for violence victims, and her memory should inspire us to work for a society free from such incidents that burden families with such huge losses. We hope that Brittany's family finds the justice they seek. May they continue to heal and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.